4,900 documents with this one, 18,000 documents with another one, you know, interviewed uh, 22, I think, of this one, and, and just they, they, how thorough they were, and to come out and say none of the allegations were substantial. This is the third time that's been said. Well, it's now that you met before with the new athletic director and interim that uh, any concerns, because it's an interim chancellor, interim AD, obviously it's president, but any concerns with that? Yeah, for us, we got to control it. You know, it's, it's great, a great opportunity to practice what we preach. We tell our players, you got to control what you can control. Our staff, we got to do the same thing. The one thing I'll say is we had a great offseason basketball wise. Our staff did a great job. Our spring, summer, and fall, our kids got tremendously better, and they're loving every minute of it. And so I think we've done a good job, but we got to continue to do that as distractions come up. You know, our job is to coach this team and make them great, and that's what we're doing. How often is the season now kind of underway with your exhibition over the weekend? Did the players kind of talk about the investigation with your program and just the overall athletic situation? Do you guys talk about that very much, or you guys just completely moved on? From yeah, that? there's been very little, honestly. I mean, obviously there was a little bit in the spring, and, and what we told them is that we, we, you know, you need to go and, and be honest with them and be truthful and tell them what you're feeling when you do the investigation. And they did that, and I think they did a good job. So, you know, that, that's really the only communication we've had. And then the lessons in life to, to learn and talk about how you handle stress and how you handle allegations and you know those things and, and what you know what's the appropriate response from you as a player and response from us as a staff. Talking about Bo Boland, over the last six or seven months, has your relationship changed at all with Mike Thomas? Did it, did it yeah, Mike's and our relationship's always been great, and uh, he's, he's been great with us, and obviously we're talking about how to, how to move this program forward. The State Farm Center is a huge part of our program moving forward, and he's done a great job meeting with our recruits, and you know, this week we're about to sign, uh, I think, one of the best classes we've ever had. Uh, our freshman class is showing how talented they are, so it's an exciting time for our program in moving forward. You obviously probably want to meet with uh, the interim athletic director. What, uh, how soon do you want to do that and then to try to have conversations with him on what, his, what he envisions going forward? I'm not sure how long it's going to be there. Other than that, maybe for the East Coast, how soon do you want to kind of talk about it and sit down with him? Yeah, I know, you know tomorrow he's meeting with the coaches and uh, we, you know, we'll have a chance there with all the coaches. And you know, I report to Maria Wood, so I'll be having conversations with her and, and continue to meet with her weekly. Um, so uh, I'm not sure how much I'll, I'll have with Paul, but Paul's been great with our program and look forward to getting to know him better.